Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Say, tonight is my night. Say, tonight is my night. Say, I will be changed. In the name of Jesus. Say, new levels. New heights. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated tonight. Hallelujah. How many of you are here for the first time? You were not here this morning. You were not here this morning. Oh, wow. It's like a whole new crowd. <laughs> Romans chapter 1, verse 16. This morning, I began to preach on what I titled the gospel according to who? The gospel according to God. And if you were not here this morning, I'd like you to go back on YouTube when you leave tonight and watch this morning's service. It was very powerful. The gospel according to God. We heard the gospel from the mouth of the author of the gospel himself. Romans chapter 1. Do I have scriptures on the screen tonight? Verse 16. 16. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. Everybody say the gospel. Say the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Everybody say power. Say power. So, Paul was writing and he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Because inside of this gospel is power. This morning I preached on what I titled the gospel according to God. Tonight, in a few minutes before I lay hands on everybody, I want to preach on what I titled the power of the gospel. For I am not ashamed of this gospel. The gospel is not just another message. There's many messages. There's many teachings. Every religion, there's so much echo in the mic. Every religion has its own teaching. Even in the Bible, there's many teachings. But Paul says, there is a message called the gospel. And inside of it is power. Is the power of God unto salvation. In Luke chapter 5, verse 17, Luke 5, 17, the Bible says one day Jesus Christ was preaching. Luke 5, 17. You don't understand my accent, huh? <laughs> he says, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And he says, and the power of the Lord was present to heal. As he was teaching, there was power coming out. As he was preaching, power was being made available. Because in the gospel is power. What power is that? Healing power. What power is that? Holy Ghost power. What power is that? Gospel power. That inside of the message... Is the power of God. You see, the gospel is so simple, yet so profound. You can understand it. It's so simple that the little child can understand the message. But you turn around and it reveals his power 
power and you say, how can this simple gospel produce this much power? A message that even a child can understand. Suddenly the gospel shows you the other side. Power, everyone say power. Say power. The gospel is seed. Is seed. When we preach the gospel, it's like going to the farm and scattering seed. How many of you are farmers here? Oh. It's like going to the farm to scatter seed. You are throwing seed. And in every seed, there is life. In every seed, there is life in the seed. So also, there is life in the gospel. Inside of the gospel is the life of God. This is why when I preach, the power of God is like there is energy coming into your body. It's life. It's the life of the gospel. That as I preach, you feel power coming into your weak legs. Power coming to your weak eyes. Your ears, your bones. Power, and it's the power of God. The gospel. Say the gospel. Say the gospel. And the seed of the gospel will always germinate. The seed of the gospel, whenever planted, must germinate. So the Bible says, the gospel is the power of God. Then it says, unto salvation. That's the produce of the seed. That whenever the gospel is planted, salvation is the resultant effect. And what is salvation? The Greek word for salvation is so-so. And this is beyond the saving of our soul. Salvation in that context also means your divine healing. The gospel is the power of God unto your healing. The gospel is the power of God unto your preservation. The gospel is the power of God unto your prosperity. That's salvation. That's salvation. That as we preach the gospel, there's healing taking place. As we preach the gospel, there's protection taking place. As we preach the gospel, salvation is taking place. Say the power of God. Say the power of God. Whatever you need, the supply is in the gospel. <laughs> Whatever problem you have, the solution is in the gospel. Whatever sin you have committed, your forgiveness is in the gospel. Whatever sickness you have, your healing is in the gospel. Because in the gospel is the power of God. It's all in it. Say salvation. Say salvation. Acts chapter 14. 14 verse 8. Acts 14. Acts chapter 14. Verse 8. <laughs> Is that clear? <laughs> I'm speaking English. He says, and there sat a certain man. Go back to verse 7. From verse 7. Go back to verse 6. <laughs> they were where, only King James can speak like this, of it. And they fled unto Lystra and Derby, cities in Lyconia, and unto the regions that lieth round about, verse 7. And look at this. 
And there they preach the gospel. Everyone said the gospel. Say the gospel. So Paul went to Lystra. And the Bible says in Lystra, Paul preached the gospel. Verse 8. Watch what happened. I told you it's the power of God. There sat a man, a certain man at Lystra, important in his feet, never walked, been crippled from his mother's womb, and has never walked. So the man was there, sitting down, as Paul was preaching, never walked. Important on his feet. Just like many people have come here tonight, sick in your body. The spirit of infirmity. You're sitting like that man. Listening to me preach. Listening to the gospel come to you. The seed is being planted. Guess what? Next verse. That's nine. And the same heard Paul speak. What was Paul speaking? Everyone say the gospel. Say the gospel. The same heard Paul speak. Who steadfastly beholding him. And Paul perceiving that he had fed to be healed. Next verse. Said with a loud voice, stand up on your feet. And he leaped and he began to walk. The gospel is the power. You see, tonight, the equation is simple. Equation. How many of you did math in school? The equation is simple. My job tonight, the moment I mentioned math, some people became angry. They failed it in school. <laughs> my job tonight, my assignment tonight is simple. is to preach the gospel. That's what Paul did. My job is to preach the gospel. I call this the triangle of a miracle. My job is to preach the gospel. You know what your job is? No. Tonight, your job. Tonight, listen. Your job is to believe the gospel. Paul preached the gospel. The man had faith to be healed. My job is to preach the gospel tonight. Your job is to believe what I'm saying. I preach. You believe. And God confirms. That's the triangle of a miracle. I preach the gospel. You believe the gospel. And God confirms the gospel. The gospel is the power of God unto your healing tonight. The gospel is the power of God unto your prosperity tonight. I preach. That's what I'm doing now. I'm scattering the seed. It's coming to you tonight. Life is coming to your body now. Life is coming to your body now. Life is coming to your body now. Energy is coming to your body now. The power of God is coming to you now. I preach. You believe. You believe. That's all that you have to do. Because all things are possible to him that believes. All things. All things. All things are possible to the one who believes. Listen to me tonight. It is possible for you to be healed tonight. It is possible for you to walk again tonight. It is possible for you to hear again tonight. It is possible for you to be free tonight. All things are possible to him that believes. To him that believes. This is not an ordinary message. No, it's not an ordinary message. Inside. I 
I'm going to India in November. India. I said to myself, when I get to India and we do the interviews, the TV interviews, I said I'm going to ask them one question. I'm going to ask them a simple question. I will say, why do you believe in the gospel so much? They'll be like, no. We don't believe in the gospel. I say, look at me. Why do you believe in the gospel? If I get to China and the door opens up, I'll ask them the same question. If I go to Pakistan, or Iran and Iraq. My question will be the same. Why do you believe in the gospel? And they will say, ah, we don't believe in the gospel. And my answer to them will be, if you don't believe in the power of the gospel, why do you use all of your governmental power to try to stop it from coming in? If you don't believe in the power that is in the gospel, why don't let us lose? Let us lose. Set a platform. Give us a stage. If you don't believe in the power of the gospel, let us lose. Give us the mic. Let's preach the gospel. If you say you don't believe in it, if you say there's no life in the message, if you say the message is not true, then let us lose. Then open the doors of your nation. Open the doors to the gospel. Let it in. Guess what? They know. They know. They are aware that if you let us in, in three years, three years the whole nation will be torn by the power of God. The whole nation the power of the gospel. The power of the gospel. You let us lose. You don't believe in the gospel. You don't believe in his power. But you put all of your governmental laws against it. Why do you stand at the gates and try to stop us from getting in if you don't believe in what we're coming to do? They know. They know. They know. Give us a platform. Bring the people. I've told people. I said, all I need is 10 minutes. Five minutes to preach and five minutes to pray. And you will know that Jesus is alive. <laughs> hey! Five minutes to preach. Five minutes to pray. And you will see the power of God. Say the gospel is the power. Say the gospel is the power. You see, the gospel is so attractive. The message of the gospel is so beautiful, such that the Bible says, I think in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, it says, if our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost, whom the God of this world has blinded their eyes so that the light of this glorious gospel, that's what he calls it. The light of this glorious gospel would not come to them. So the gospel is so attractive that the devil has to blind people's mind not to look at it. Because he knows that if I let them see, they will walk away from me. Is that attractive? The message of the gospel is so compelling that the devil had to blindfold people. If our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost, whom the God of this world has blinded their eyes. The gospel is alive. 
That's why it's called the living word. The living word is alive. Tonight, the same Jesus of Matthew's gospel, the same Jesus of Mark's gospel, the same Jesus of Luke's gospel, the same Jesus of John's gospel, the same Jesus of Paul's gospel is the Jesus of my gospel tonight. Is the Jesus of my gospel. The same Jesus. Hallelujah. T.L. Osborne has a book called The Message That Works. The Message That Works. There's a message that works. It's called the gospel. It works. It works in every town. It works in every village. It works in every city. It works in every nation. Nations after nations. Cities after cities. We have proven it that the gospel works. This is not just another fancy message. There's many fancy messages all around the world. But the most that a fancy message can produce is Twitter hashtags. That's the most. The most that a fancy message can produce is nice quotes. Aspire to perspire. And if you acquire, you will not retire. See, they are trying to rhyme. It's a rhyme. Aspire to perspire. Never to retire. For if you do not retire, you acquire. Am I preaching tonight? <laughs> the best that a fancy message can produce is quotes. But the gospel is the power. There's only one message. Only one that God has sworn to confirm with signs and wonders. There's only one message that is backed up by the blood of Jesus. There's only one message that is backed up by his resurrection power. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. He says, if you preach it, I'll confirm it. This message is about God's integrity. The beauty of the gospel is that the gospel excludes you. It is none of you and all of God. He died. He was buried. And he rose again. None of you. None of you. And all of God. And God has sworn that this message he would confirm. I've had people ask me all the time, Evangelist, what is the secret of your power? I've seen all kinds of miracles. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I've seen all kinds of miracles. We just finished from Pennsylvania last week. A lady came to the meeting. 20 years on the wheelchair. She had muscular dystrophy. The whole muscle is dead for 20 years. And if you know how the body works, if you don't walk for three years, your body forgets how to walk. 20 years. Never walked. Bound on a wheelchair. I went to her. And I laid my hands on her while I was preaching. The power of God. Akapetekemaminata. Went through her body. She shook on that wheelchair, stood up, and she began to walk. Began to walk. The gospel. And so people ask me, what is the secret? What's the secret? How do you command so much results? How do you see all these miracles? 
I, I, I told someone yesterday, I said, in one crusade, just one crusade, and in one night, we could see over 50 miracles at a time. Busting out. Crutches going up on wheelchairs at a time. At a time. I've forgotten many miracles that some people would ever see in their lifetime. The ones I've forgotten. And so they asked, what's the secret? What's the secret? How do you command so much result? And they are expecting a very difficult answer for me. They are expecting me to say, sorry, they are expecting me to say, oh, you just go on the 80 days fast. And after, you know, you sound like a bishop. You just go on the 80 days fast. And after the 80 days fast, you break it for seven days, gradually, and you see power. You see, people can't even understand it. When they come around me, and they've seen all the miracles, they watch all the videos, they come around me, and they expect me to be walking on the air. <laughs> walking on the air. It's like a spirit. It's like, oh, oh. When they see me eat, they're wondering, you eat too? Oh, he's eating. They can't believe it. Because they're expecting. They're expecting something. They're expecting something. And they say, what is the secret? And my answer is always simple. The gospel is none of me. None of me. I say, the answer is simple. I preach the gospel. And God confirms the gospel. I preach the gospel. In Acts chapter 3, Peter had prayed for the man that was lame at the beautiful gate. And for 40 years, he had never walked lame at the beautiful gate. Peter prayed for him. Peter said, silver or gold, I have not. I can preach a whole sermon on that. Silver or gold, I have not. As for me, I have silver or gold. I have it. <laughs> silver or gold, I have. Listen. <laughs> Listen. When Jesus was about to die on the cross, he looked at all his disciples and he said to John, John, I'm handing over my mother to you. Take care of her. Why didn't he hand over his mother to Peter? Because he didn't have silver or gold. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Listen. Peter and John, they were the two going to the beautiful gate. They both saw the man that was lame for 40 years, but it was only Peter that said, silver or gold, I have none. He didn't say, we don't have. He said, I don't have, because John had silver or gold. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. <laughs> silver or gold, I have none. Me, I have. But such as I have, Give I unto thee in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. The man that was lame for 40 years stood up and began to walk. That's not my point. My point is they came to Peter and they were wondering, what sort of power is this? Peter and John said this. He says, why look at us? Why look at us as if it is by our power or by our holiness have we made this man walk? That's what he said. So why look on us? Because the gospel excludes you. The gospel is Jesus Christ and no additives. There's no additives. Say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Say, it is a part of God unto salvation. Our gospel is alive. 
We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> so what is this gospel? What is this message that carries power? What is this message that God would confirm with his power? First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 1. Tell you what the gospel is. First Corinthians 15, verse 1. Look at this. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. Everybody say the gospel. Say the gospel. Now, this is the gospel according to Paul. See, this morning we did the gospel according to God. Genesis 3, verse 15 was the gospel according to God. The first person who ever preached the gospel was God. And his first audience was the devil. Poor devil. <laughs> say poor devil. <laughs> the people who were not here this morning, they can't say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say that with you. <laughs> Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. Which I preached unto you. What is this gospel? Which also ye have received. Wherein you stand. Verse 2. Verse 2. By which also ye were saved. By the gospel. How were you saved? Say by the gospel. Say by the gospel. I've seen people say. Um. He said, preach the gospel without using words or something. How do they say it? <laughs> Listen, there's no gospel without words. The gospel is a message. The gospel is a message. There's no one who gets saved by just looking at you. <laughs> there's no one that gets saved <gasps> by just looking at you. He says, by which also ye are saved by the gospel. If ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye believed in vain. Now verse 3. This is the gospel. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which also I had received. Oh God. How that Christ Died for our sins according to the scriptures. Next verse. And that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again. Simple. Simple. Christ died for our sins. Say substitution. Say substitution. I'm using mathematics words. Some people don't want to respond. They hated mathematics so much. Say substitution. That Christ died for our sins. It was our sins, but he died. An exchange. It was our deaths, but he died. We were guilty, but he took our place. The gospel. Say the gospel. We owe the debt, but he paid. The gospel. That's the message. The gospel is simple. It's substitution. Substitution and exchange. If you read about John the Baptist, John the Baptist said, My whole ministry, all that God has called me to do is to introduce the Christ. It was an introduction. 
So John says, my ministry is to introduce Christ. So if someone says, this is my ministry, you better pay attention to how he introduces Christ. You pay attention. Because that's why he was born. That's why he baptized. That's why he did everything he did. All he was doing was to introduce the Christ. So we pay attention to how he introduced Christ. When John saw the Christ, what did he say? He said, behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. That was his introduction of the Christ. He called him the Lamb of God. The Lamb. The Lamb of God. Why? Why did John call him a Lamb? A symbol. There's a story in Genesis about a man called Abraham. Everybody say Abraham. Say Abraham. The Bible said Abraham had a child. God appeared to Abraham and he says, give me thy son, thy only son, Isaac. Listen, I'm going to preach a whole message on that. Abraham had two sons, but God walked to him and said, give me your only son. What about the second child? He had two child, two, two sons, and God says, give me your only son. You know why? God does not recognize the seed producing flesh. Ishmael was a seed produced by the flesh. Was a seed produced by human effort. Abraham was trying to bring the promises of God to pass by his own effort. And he forgets, like what I preached this morning, that there is something called the fullness of time. And so people cannot wait for the fullness of time. And so they go ahead of themselves to try to bring the promises of God to pass. But God does not recognize it. He doesn't recognize it. So God says, give me your only son, Isaac. So Abraham took Isaac. They went up the mountain. On their way up the mountain, Isaac stopped. And Isaac asked a question. Because now he was suspecting something. <laughs> he said, you said we are going up to offer a sacrifice. I've seen the wood. I've seen the fire. He says, where is the sacrifice? He was suspecting something. <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking, Abraham. <laughs> I've seen the wood. I've seen the fire. He says, where is the sacrifice? And at that moment, Abraham prophesied. He says, the Lord shall provide for himself a sacrifice. The Lord shall provide for himself. This is the revelation of Jehovah Jireh. That God shall provide for himself. So they got up the mountain. Abraham tied Isaac to offer him as a sacrifice. In that moment, when he was about to offer Isaac, the Bible said a voice came from heaven and said, Abraham, do not touch the child. He says, look to the bush. There is a lamb that is tied to the tickets. A lamb tied to the woods. He says, offer the lamb instead of the child. Everybody says substitution. That is why when John says, behold the lamb of God. He was talking about substitution. That the lamb will die instead of the son. The gospel. Say the gospel. That's the gospel. An exchange. That it was my death, but he died for me. It was my suffering, but he suffered for me. There's a story in the Bible about a man called Barabbas. Have you ever heard of Barabbas before? Not Barnabas, Barabbas. You ever heard of him before? It's a story in the Bible of a man called Barabbas. The Bible says Barabbas was a thief. And a notorious criminal. Come, Barabbas. Come. Very fast. Like a man. <laughs> Barabbas was a thief. A notorious criminal. Everyone knew Barabbas for his sins. They all knew him. 
They all knew Barabbas for his offenses. They all knew that he was notorious. So Barabbas was caught, put in prison, sentenced to die. You know why? The wages of sin is death. So Barabbas was put in prison and sentenced to die for his sins. While Barabbas was in prison, something happened. One day, the king became Pilate. And Pilate said, there was another prisoner that day. Come. You look like Jesus. <laughs> Come stand there. Pilate brought another prisoner. Now listen to this. This is a case of a man full of sin and a man without sin. This is a case of a man who is guilty and a man who is innocent. This is a case of a notorious criminal and Jesus Christ. I'm preaching the gospel. Listen to this. You see something you've never seen before. While they were there, the king announced. He says, today, we are going to release a prisoner as it is in our custom. A prisoner is going to be released. I'm sure that day Barabbas in his heart, he was so sure, not me. I'm going to die in my sins. Everyone knows me for my sins. This is how I'm going to end. There's many people listening to me here today. This is your confession. There's no way out for you. That's what you think. There's no solution for you. I'm going to die in my sins like Barabbas. Who's going to help me? Who will deliver me from this body of corruption? That's what Paul said. So this was the case of a man full of sin and a man without sin. And the king said that day, choose today whom do I release unto you? A notorious criminal and the one without sin. The Bible said there was no guilt in him. No offense. No sin in him. Of pure blood. All he has done was help, save, heal. That's all he had done. And Pilate stood and announced that day, choose today whom do I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus? Suddenly a mystery happened that day. A mystery happened that day. That the whole crowd began to scream. Release Barabbas and crucify Jesus. Release Barabbas and kill Jesus. Release the notorious criminal. And take the one who has done no sin. Oh, Barabbas. What am I hearing? Is that the sound of freedom? Am I going to be free? Will the chance be off my hands? Will I walk out of the prison? The people kept shouting, release Barabbas. Crucify Jesus. Release Barabbas. And so that day, they took the chains off the hands of Barabbas and they put it on Jesus. They took the prison clothes off of Barabbas and they put it on Jesus. A substitution was going on here. Took off all the chains. Put it on Jesus. And Barabbas, go. The prison door is open. Walk out of your prison. March out of jail. Listen. Do you know what that means? Barabbas is going to go home that day. And the people are going to ask Barabbas a question. Barabbas. How come you are free? We thought you were going to die, Barabbas. We thought you were lost forever and you died in your sins. We thought it was over for you and you were condemned. You know what Barabbas is going to say? His answer will be simple. He will say there was a man called Jesus. 
There was a man called Jesus. He took my place in prison and now I'm free. There was a man called Jesus. This is substitution. He died for me. Now I'm free. There was a man called Jesus. He stood on my behalf. That day, Barabbas was walking home. He turned his back. He saw them beating Jesus. And he would say to himself, that was supposed to be me. That was supposed to be me. That was my punishment. But he is taking it for me. When he was hung on the cross. Beating and blood was coming out of his body. Barabbas would cry. And say that was supposed to be me. That was my death. He's dying for me. This is the gospel of substitution. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Isaiah 53 verse 5. Isaiah 53. Puts it better. Isaiah 53 verse 5. He explains it better. I'm waiting for you. It says, but he was wounded for our transgression. It was our transgression, but he was wounded. He was bruised for our iniquities. It was my iniquity. It was my sin. It was my debt. I owed it. But he was bruised. Remember this morning, you will bruise his heel. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, ye are healed. It's a substitution. A substitution. The gospel is the power. The gospel is the power that Christ died for my sins according to the scriptures. That he was buried for me according to the scriptures. That Jesus stood and he took my place. And he suffered for me. There's no reason for Barabbas to be punished anymore. Because Jesus took his punishment. It is against the law of double jeopardy. That you cannot punish a crime twice. That the crime had been punished on Jesus. And so Barabbas can go home free. Listen to me. What Jesus did for Barabbas that day, he did for all eternity. What Jesus did for Barabbas that day, he did for all humanity. He himself took our iniquities. It was an exchange. Substitution. I want to ask you a question tonight. Why do you need to suffer if Jesus already suffered for you? I'm asking you a question tonight. Do you believe the gospel? Do you believe in substitution? Do you believe in the exchange? I told you tonight, my job is to preach the gospel. Your job is to believe the gospel. Why do you need to suffer if Jesus already suffered for you? Why? Why do I need to be in pains? If Jesus carried my pains, why? 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 Why do I need to be sick? If he was bruised for my iniquities and by his stripes I am healed, why do I need to be sick? Why? Why? 
you'd have to say to yourself, this is not right. If this is right, then why did Jesus die? Huh? This is not right. This is not right. Why the pains? Why the disease? Why the liver failure? Why the kidney failure? Why the pains? This is not right. If this is right, then why did Jesus suffer? The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes. By his stripes. By his stripes. This is not right. Sickness is not right. It's an intruder. It shouldn't be there. Don't cope with it. No, no, don't pamper it. It's an intruder. It shouldn't be there. It's against the laws of substitution that Jesus died for my sins according to the scriptures. It's not right. It's not right. Don't cope with it. Resist it tonight. You can drop it tonight. Don't let anybody tell you. Don't let anyone tell you that your disease is a cross you are carrying. That you are carrying a cross. Listen. Why do I need to carry a cross when he carried it for me? I thought this is substitution. I thought it was an exchange. He said, my body is easy, my yoke is light. The disease is not easy. The sickness is not light. This is not right. Why do I need to lie on a sick bed? Why? Reason with me tonight. Why? 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 Why do I need to read on the wheelchair? Why? Why? I thought there was an exchange. Is the gospel true? It's the power of God. If you believe the gospel tonight, the power of God will come to you. The power of God will come into your body. If you believe the gospel tonight, whatever has been disorganized in your life, it's going to begin to arrange itself. If you believe the gospel tonight, if you believe the gospel, if you believe my message tonight, the power of God is moving already. It's moving right now. Diseases is leaving people tonight. Thank you. Say the gospel. Say the gospel. The power of God unto salvation. The power of God unto healing. The power of God unto deliverance. The power of God unto preservation. The power of God unto my prosperity. That all of my supply is in the gospel. My boast is that he died for me. My boast. That's my boast. My boast is that he suffered for me. That's my boast. That's my boast. When he died, I died. When he was buried, I was buried. When he rose, I rose with him. That's my boast. That's my boast. It's in the gospel. It's in the gospel. That's my confidence. I have no power on my own. I have no power. My power is in the cross. That's where all the power comes from. It comes from substitution. When he hung on that cross. When he stood on that cross and said it is finished. Oh, Gabapina dish. That day. Listen. When we minister to the sick. We minister to the sick out of the finished work of Jesus. Out of the finished work. That when he said that it is finished, it was finished. 
That day, the disease was finished. That day, the sickness was finished. It's over. It's done. Completed. All the price paid. Discharged and acquitted. Freedom. Tonight, just like this morning, you can march out of your prison. You can march out. March out. Just walk out. Because the price has been paid. The price has been paid. Like Barabbas, you can go home for free tonight. Like Barabbas, you can go home for free tonight. With assurance and confidence. As someone hanged on that cross for me. Someone hanged on that cross for me. His name is Jesus. Jesus the righteous. Jesus the righteous. Go back to Romans chapter 1. Go to verse 17. I'll show you something. Thank you, Lord. Romans 1 verse 17. Thank you, Lord. Now look at this. It's talking about the gospel. It says, for daring in the gospel is the righteousness of God revealed. Inside of the gospel, it says we see the righteousness of God. I'll explain what it means. The righteousness of God. The justice of God, that's what he's talking about. He says in the gospel, we see the justice of God. What is he talking about? It will be unjust for God to put disease on me. It will be unjust for God to punish me if you already punished Jesus. The righteousness of God. It will be unjust for God for me to suffer again if Jesus suffered for me. The righteousness of God is sin. The justice of God. That because Jesus has been punished for my sins. Because Jesus had died for me. Because himself took our iniquities. And by his stripes I'm healed. We see the justice of God that when he made Jesus to be seen for us on the cross, he made us to be righteous. The justice of God. We see the justice of God that when Jesus was made to be a curse on that cross, we were made to be a blessing. The justice of God. That this is now legal. That the exchange is now complete. That if he took our place, then we should take his place. Am I preaching tonight? The righteousness of God is revealed in the gospel. The righteousness of God. The justice system of God. That if he stood for me, if he took my place, then I should take his place. The son of man, or rather, the son of God became the son of man. He took our place. The son of God became the son of man so that the sons of men can become sons of God. Substitution. Substitution. The son of God became the son of man so that the sons of men can become sons of God. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. That if Jesus took my place, then I should take his place. If he became a curse for me on that cross, then I should be a blessing. Then my life should be blessed. Then I should be living in the blessing. I should be living in the overflow. I should be living in abundance. I should be living in prosperity. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. If he became sickness for me, then I should be well. 
I should live healthy. I should be whole. I should have life. The righteousness of God is being revealed. Every time God does a miracle, that's his righteousness. That's his righteousness. Every time God blesses you, that's his righteousness. <laughs> Every time the money comes into your hands, that's the righteousness of God. <laughs> because he took my place. He became a curse. The Bible says, for we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that he became poor for us. So that we through his poverty might become rich. That's the righteousness of God. That's the righteousness of God. That if he became poor for us, we then through his poverty should become rich. In the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. That in substitution, we see the righteousness of God. And he took my place. And I should take his place. In wealth. And in health. And in life. And in abundance. This is the righteousness of God. My life reveals the righteousness of God. When you see me, you see the righteousness of God. For daring is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Thank you, Lord. My life reveals the righteousness of God. My life shows that the equation is complete. It's not balanced until I'm where he is. He came down to lift me and put me where he is. Now the equation is complete. The righteousness of God is revealed. The righteousness of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. From today, your life. I said your life. Lift up your hands. Your life. Say my life. Will reveal the righteousness of God. Say in my life, the righteousness of God shall be seen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Rise to your feet now. The righteousness of God is revealed. It's revealed. That is why I said this is not right. Because this is not righteousness. This is not right. That I should be on the wheelchair. This is not the righteousness of God. It's not. This is not right. That I should be on the sick bed. This is not the righteousness of God. This is not right. That I should be broke. And busted. <laughs> and disgusted. <laughs> this is not the righteousness of God. This is not the righteousness of God. Say my life. will reveal. The righteousness of God. When people see you from today. They will say that's right. That's right. That's right. That's how we should be. That's right. Because all things will be right and all right and okay. I'm preaching a fancy sermon now. <laughs> Hashtag, I'm the righteousness of God. <laughs> I'm the righteousness of God. I'm the righteousness of God. Thank you, Lord. Just touch the keyboard. Thank you, Lord. Just lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Libro de mande shira. Libro de ke baba bashanda. Hela bro de ke bashoda. Just prophesy to yourself. As I review the righteousness of God. In me the righteousness of God is seen. Bread de bako se da mande. Gi bro de baba kasi de baku frede. Re baba baba she de ke de. Bro de ke baba ba shande. Whatever is not right in your life. God is turning it around. Brassi papash. Balede shadere. Yi ga ba 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 ba. Yi ra ba 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 ba. Shada da da da. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Ki la ba da ba 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 ba. Shande. The righteousness of God is revealed. The righteousness of God is revealed. In your life today. In your life from today. The righteousness of God is revealed. The power of God is making all things right. The power of God is making all things right. Get ready. You are preparing your spirit to receive. 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 The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God is revealed tonight. The power of God is making all things right. All things right. Lift up your hands. Say the power of God is making all things right. In my life. One more time. Say the power of God is making all things right. In my life. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All things right. The righteousness of God is revealed. Thank you, Lord. So bale mandesh. So bale mandesh. So bale mandekasura. If you are sick in your body, I want you to place your hand where you are hurting now. Place your hands where you are hurting. Everyone sick in your body, place your hands where you are hurting. Right now, the righteousness of God is revealed. Place your hands where you are hurting. The righteousness of God is revealed now. The righteousness of God is revealed now. Right now. Right now, place your hands where you are hurting. Place your hands where you have the pain. The migraine is leaving. The righteousness of God is revealed. Riba shode kabande. Riba shude ke barada. Mandele broko sotana. Libro de soda. Alike brotana. Mandele kabashedi. The righteousness of God is revealed. Right now. Right now. Right now. The toothache is leaving. The toothache is going. Right now. Right now. Right now, healed now, healed, healed. The wind of miracles is blowing now. The wind, the wind of miracles, the wind of miracles, the wind, the wind of miracles, the wind of miracles. Receive it now, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Touch, receive it. The wind, the wind of miracles is blowing. The wind, the wind, the wind of the Holy Ghost, 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 the wind of the Holy Ghost is healing you now, is healing you now, is healing you now, is healing you now, touch, is healing you now. 
The wind of the Holy Ghost. 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 Lord, make all things right. 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 All things right in his body. Make his mind right. Make him right. Let your righteousness be revealed in him. Let your righteousness be revealed in him. In the name of Jesus. All things right. All things right. Thank you, Lord. Touch. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Receive your miracle now. Receive your miracle now. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. I command the spirit of infirmity to depart from your body now. Spirit of infirmity, come out of their bodies now. Lose them now. Spirit of infirmity, depart from their bodies now. All things right. The righteousness of God is revealed in your health. The righteousness of God tonight is revealed in your health. In your health. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to lay hands on everyone who needs prayer now. We're going to do it line by line. I want the people on the first row to come out now. Let's make a line. Breathe a baba bashan. Lebron de kabashan. Lebron de kasuda bada. Lebron de kaseda bada. Lebron de kasada. Come, all of you there now. Join them. Find space. Get in. Lebron de kabashan. Lebron de kaseda. When I lay hands on you, it's for one thing alone that the Lord make all things right in your life. All things right. All things right. All things. Whatever is wrong is turning around. In the name of Jesus. All things right. All things. Go on now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All things right. All things right. Lord, make all things right. 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 Touch. 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 Touch, 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 touch. All things right. All things right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you can walk back, just go back. The next set, come. Very fast. All things right. Don't be in a hurry to get up. Just leave them. Those who can't get up, just leave them there. The next group, come out. All things right. Very fast. Just come. He makes all things right. He makes all things right. All things right. Go on. And there is in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. All things right. All things right. All things right. All things are made right. All things. All things are made right. All things right. Kiba so de badesh. Kile pro de 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 desh. Ki pro de 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 bashode. Touch. Touch. Touch, 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 tou
touch, 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 Liboko Sedebesh, touch, touch, Libore Deba. All things right. 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 Kibo de 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 I ba 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 de 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 de. I do 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 do. Ha de 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 de. I ba 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 ba. All things right. All things. I ma 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 ma. Eh kele ba 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 ba. The righteousness of God is revealed in your life. Just pray in the Holy Ghost where you are. Get ready to receive. All things, all things are made new. All things are made right. All things are made new. All things are made right. All things made right. All things made new. All things in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's an army rising up. Touch. Touch, touch, Libo Shada, touch, 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 all things right, all things, all things, all things, all things, touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 Libore Baba Shadi, touch, Otis, 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 touch, touch, all things right, all things right. Thank you, Lord. Diabetes is dying now. Diabetes. Your sugar level is becoming normal. Right now. All things. Your blood pressure is becoming right. The blood pressure. The blood. All things. All things right. All things. Your sugar level right. Your blood pressure right. All things right. The hormones, right? No more hormonal imbalance. No more. No more. No more hormonal imbalance. No more. No more. There's somebody here. You are not breastfeeding, but there is milk coming out of your breast. You're not breastfeeding. The Lord said, I'm making all things right now. All things right. All things. All things right. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. All things are made right today. All things. No more hormonal imbalance. No more hormonal imbalance. Your blood pressure is becoming right. Your sugar level is becoming right. All things right. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. All things right. All things right. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, He's making all things right. He's making all things right. He's making all things right. All things are made new. All things. All things. 
I made right all things. I made right all things. All things. Touch. Touch. Riba bababash. Touch. 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 Very fast. Very fast. Just come from every side. Just come. Come very fast. All things are made right today. All things are made right. I speak as I hear the Lord say. I speak. No more hormonal imbalance. Your glucose level is becoming normal. Sugar level normal. Your blood pressure normal. This is the righteousness of God today revealed. The righteousness of God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Very fast. Very fast. Libore mananda. Libore barike sede menina. Libore de baradine mokosata. Libore ne monde ke sibada. Libore mandele kasadere. Libore bakifa tonema. Get ready to receive it now. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Get ready. All things are made right. One touch and all things are made right. One touch. One touch. One touch. And all things are made right. And all things. And all things are made right. Touch. 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 Be healed. Now, touch. All things made right. Touch. All things made right. Touch. Touch. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. All things right. All things right. Touch. Touch. One touch. One touch. One touch. And all things are made right. One touch. One touch. One touch. Break it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's many miracles taking place now. There's many miracles taking place now. There's many miracles. The migraine dies now. The migraine headache dies now. He dies right now. He dies right now. God makes all things right for you. All things. All things right. All things right. All things. All things are made right for you. One touch. And it's an automatic reset. One touch. The power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Make all things right. Thank you, Lord. Make all things right. Thank you, Lord. Touch. 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 Power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. Thank you, Lord. Touch. Touch, 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 touch. All things are made right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Eyesight have been corrected. Eyesight. Your sight is becoming corrected. Your sight, says the Lord. Your sight. Your sight is becoming corrected. 
right now is the righteousness of God revealed. Your sight. Place your hands on your eyes now. Oh Lord God, descend in your power. Let your eyes be corrected. Let them see correctly. By the power of the Holy Ghost, healed in your eyes. Right now, right now, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. No more short sightedness. No more short sightedness. No more long sightedness. No more blurriness. I rebuke cataracts. I rebuke glaucoma. Come out of the eyes. Now. 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 Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Begin to see clearly. Right now. Let the scales fall off your eyes. Let the scales fall off your eyes. It's done. Right now. It's done. It's done. Check your eyes. Read if you couldn't read. Do what you couldn't do before with your eyes. Touch by the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch by the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. Touch by the power. Touch. Touch. Don't resist it. Touch. Touch. Just receive it. Just receive it. Don't resist it. Touch. 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 Now. Touch. Now. Touch. Now. Touch. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Now. Now. Touch. Touch. Touch now. Touch. Touch her now. Touch. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Just come over. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. Right now. Right now. All things right. Now. Automatic reset. Reset. Automatically. Oh, thank you. Touch. Touch. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Touch. Touch. Now. Touch. 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 Thank you, Lord. The atmosphere of Jesus. Fee. When nothing is impossible and no disease incurable. And there's an atmosphere. And there's an atmosphere. When nothing is impossible. And no disease incurable. And there's an atmosphere. Touch! Touch! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch! Touch! Touch, 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 touch him, touch, 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 touch. Give a rubber shanda, give a rubber shanda, touch, touch, ega bele de 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 shanda, touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 make him right, make his mind right, make him right, make him right. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Just lift up your hands. Receive it now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Receive it. Receive it. Let it go through your body. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. Let it go through your body. The righteousness of God. There's miracles taking place here now. Yes, miracles taking place. There's miracles taking place here now. Miracles, 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 miracles. The righteousness of God. Touch the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God is revealed. The righteousness of God. Oh, Holy Ghost, blow your wind. Blow your wind. Blow your wind. Blow your wind. And make all things right. Make all things right. Oh, Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Ghost. Blow your wind. Blow your wind. And make all things right. Touch. Touch. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Touch. Touch. That's the sound of liberation. That's the sound of liberation. That's the sound of liberty. That's the sound of liberty. The righteousness of God is revealed. Thank you, Lord. 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 Make a whole, Lord. Make a whole. Make a whole. Make a whole. Freedom. Freedom, make a hole. Touch now. Freedom. Make a hole. Make a hole. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. Receive it. Strength. Strength to your bones. Life to your body. Strength to your bones and life to your body. <sighs> Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch, touch. The sound of liberty. The sound of freedom. It's called the power of the Holy Ghost. That's what it's called. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And there is freedom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you, Lord. The righteousness of God is revealed today. Hallelujah. 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 Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hallelujah. Ha. Thank you, Lord. Liberty. The anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing breaks the yoke. The yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke is broken this night. The yoke is broken because of the anointing. Thank you, Lord. 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 Just whisper the name Jesus. Just whisper the name Jesus. That's it. 
That's it. For the last time, just whisper the name Jesus. 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 The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke of poverty is broken. The yoke. The yoke of lack is broken. The yoke of want is broken. It's broken today. Freedom. Freedom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Just sit down if you can. Just sit down if you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Freedom, 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 liberty, 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 liberty. I hear the sound of chains falling. 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 I hear the sound. I hear the sound. Shackles being broken. Shackles being broken. Been broken. Been broken. Been broken. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't resist it. Just receive it. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. And so you receive it. You receive it. You receive it. You receive it. Thank you, Lord. Same power that conquered the grace lives in me. Lives in me. Just receive it. Same anointing that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. <laughs> Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. You receive it. Same anointing that rescued the earth lives in me. It lives in me. There's a living Jesus vibrating on your inside. There's a living Jesus vibrating on your inside. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. It's called the power of the Holy Ghost. It's called the power of the Holy Ghost. Lives in me. Same power. Same power that conquered the grave. Same power. The power of the gospel lives in me. My hands, they heal. My ears, they heal. My eyes, they see in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Singing what I hear my spirit. My hands, they heal. My ears, they heal. My eyes, they see in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. 
in the Holy Ghost. Halabara de Mandashan. In the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. Halamandesh. In the Holy Ghost. Your hands are healing hands. Your hands. Your hands are healing hands. Your hands. Your hands. My hands, they heal. My ears, they heal. My eyes, they see in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They heal. Just come here. My eyes, they see. My ears, they hear in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Ola baraba. Listen, your sensitivity, your spiritual sensitivity is coming alive now. Your ears are open. You hear the voice of God. Your ears. Your eyes are open. You see visions. Your hands will heal the sick. My eyes, they see. My ears, they hear. My hands, they heal in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> My eyes, they see. My ears, they heal. My hands, they heal in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. Touch! Now, let your spiritual sensitivity come alive. Touch! 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 A vessel unto honor. Touch! Vessel unto honor. Thank you, Lord. My eyes, they see, I see rain pouring down. I see rain. I see rain. And the Lord said the dryness, the dryness you felt in your spirit is changing. It's becoming wet. Wet. Get wet. Get wet. Your spiritual eyes is opening. Your spiritual eyes is opening your spiritual eyes. Your spiritual ear is opening. My eyes, they see. My hands, they heal. My ears, they hear in the Holy Ghost. For there is glory, mighty working power. Higher. At work in me. Higher. At work in me. For there is glory. Mighty work in power. At work in me. In the Holy Ghost. <laughs> hey. Hey. And there is glory. Mighty work in power. At work in me, in the Holy Ghost. My eyes, they see. My ears, they hear. My hands, they heal in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
your eyes they see your ears they hear and your hands they heal in the Holy Ghost touch your eyes they see your eyes is being opened now you see visions your ears is being opened now you hear the voice of God clearly your hand are made for healing. Whew. Touch now. Touch. Your eyes, they see. Your ears, they hear. And your hands, they heal in the Holy Ghost. It's coming alive. It's coming alive. Your spiritual eyes is coming alive. Your spiritual ears is coming alive. Your spiritual eyes, your ears, that's what the Lord is doing now. You hear the voice of God clearly from today. You hear the voice of God clearly. You hear the voice. And it will be the voice of God. You hear the voice clearly. You hear the voice of God clearly. Your ears are being opened now. Touch! Your eyes, they see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your eyes, they see. Your ears, they hear. And your hands, they heal in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. Receive it now, Pastor Sunday. Your eyes, they see. Your ears, they hear. And your hands, they heal in the Holy Ghost. Halabaraka de Shandi. For there is glory, mighty working power at work in you, at work in you. For there is glory, mighty working power at work in you, in the Holy Ghost. You hear the voice of God clearly from today. Your eyes will be open to see visions and dream dreams from today. And your hands will walk with a curse. Touch now. Touch from today. From today. From today. Your eyes, they see. Receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. Your eyes will see beyond what the physical eyes can see. Your eyes will see. And your ears will hear. Your hands will heal in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I to walk in me. For there is glory. Mighty working power at work in me in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. My hands are healing hands. My ears can hear and my hands can heal in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Spiritual gifts have been released now. Spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts. 
the gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. The gift of the workings of miracles. Receive it now. Receive it. The gift of discernment. Receive it. The gift of the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom. Receive it. Receive it. Now. Now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The supernatural will become natural for you. The supernatural will become normal for you. Normal. You walk in the spirit effortlessly from today. You hear the voice of God effortlessly. Miracles will become cheap, normal. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's somebody who lost your spiritual sight and your spiritual ears. Suddenly, you could no more hear the voice of God. And you could no more see as you used to see. You even lost your dreams. It's been restored now. It's been restored now. It's been restored. It's been restored. The rain, the rain has fallen. The rain has fallen. Get wet. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for watching this video. If you were blessed by this video, I'd like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like the video and share with friends from around the world. Also, turn on your notifications to get updates on when new videos are uploaded on this channel. Finally, stay connected to this ministry on our website on www.megaharvest.org. I love you. God bless you.